Welcome back, Bookworms. This is Mrs. K. I'm glad you could join me. Biscuit and Gravy are visiting the fire station to learn about fire safety. Then, as they tell their parents about their visit, their imaginations run wild as they tell them how they defeated the fire monster. Let's enjoy the magic of reading as we read together. Biscuit and Gravy Learn About Fire Safety, written by Fire Marshal Sean Tyson and illustrated by his son, Simon Tyson. There's also a fun fire safety quiz at the end of our story, so stay tuned. Oh look, bookworms, we're going to learn about fire safety. Oh, aren't our main characters cute? Biscuit and Gravy went on a field trip with their class. The fire station was like their house, but with fire trucks and firefighters. Biscuit and Gravy met the fire marshal. He taught them all about fire safety. Oh, one of the firefighters put on a special suit for the class. The suit protects the brave firefighters when putting out the fire. Biscuit and Gravy thought the suit looked like a superhero costume. If you ever see a firefighter, don't run away. They're there to help you, bookworms. The class thanked the firefighters and left the fire station. Biscuit and Gravy rushed home to tell their parents what they had learned. Biscuit and Gravy have great imaginations. They began telling their parents quite the story about what happened at the fire station. Hmm, I wonder what could have happened. Biscuit and Gravy got to test the smoke alarms. Smoke alarms should be tested every month. Some of the smoke alarms were hard to reach. That's kind of scary. I would have gotten a ladder. What about you, bookworms? Uh-oh. Biscuit and Gravy learned to never play with lighters or matches. It could release a fire monster. Beware of fire monsters. Look at that. The firefighters went on an emergency and forgot to turn off the stove. Biscuit and Gravy watched over the food from a safe distance away. <laughs> See their binoculars? Now it's three feet away. Oh, uh oh. Biscuit and Gravy became scared and forgot what they had learned. Biscuit tried to put out the cooking fire with water, but the water just made the fire get bigger. It's very scary. Water and grease don't mix. Biscuit did not know how to use the fire extinguisher, but tried anyway. Biscuit and Gravy quickly remembered why fire extinguishers should only be used by grown-ups. Uh-oh. That's not safe. The fire monster became big and angry. Biscuit and Gravy worried about what they should do. Biscuit and Gravy began to remember all that the fire marshal had taught them. They then became brave, just like the firefighter in the superhero costume. I love their capes. The fire monster began chasing them. Biscuit and Gravy remembered how to stay safe. Biscuit and Gravy quickly closed the door between them and the fire monster. Closing the door slowed down the fire monster. It even made the fire monster smaller. Look at that. So remember to close doors, bookworms. The smoke alarm warned the fire monster was coming. Biscuit and Gravy remembered to always know two ways out of every room to safely escape fire monsters. And there's a beep, beep, beep. It's much louder than that. And it really wakes you up, gets your attention. Look, he's out the window and he can be out the door. Two great ways to get out of there. 
Biscuit and Gravy escaped the fire monster. They remembered to always go to a safe meeting place when escaping fire monsters. I wonder if some of you have a safe meeting place. Biscuit and Gravy called for help from their safe meeting place. The firefighters returned and put out the fire. Yay! Biscuit and Gravy did it. They used what they learned to defeat the fire monster. Great teamwork. All right, bookworms, here are some questions and answers for us. What sound does a smoke alarm make when there is a fire? Smoke alarms make a beep, beep, beep sound, and it sounds like this. How often should we test smoke alarms? Smoke alarms should be tested every month, and usually on the same day so you don't forget to do it. What is a safe distance from the stove? Kids should stay at least three feet away from the stove. Should kids play with lighters or matches? No, tell a grown-up if you find lighters or matches. Should kids play with fire extinguishers? No, only grown-ups should use fire extinguishers. What can you do to slow down a fire? Closed doors can help protect you from smoke and fire. They also can slow a fire from spreading. Where should you go after escaping a fire? Plan a safe meeting place for everyone to go to after a fire. Those are some great tips, bookworms. If you enjoyed Biscuit and Gravy, learn about fire safety, go to your local library and check it out, or purchase your very own copy from your favorite bookstore. Check out my website to make a cool fire dog headband, Mrs. K's bookwormadventures.com, or click the link in the video's description.